Hello. So I'm using Fraps now, uh, which is much be very well behaved on this machine. Not quite as well behaved on my old machine, but it's great here. So I thought I'd show you some of the progress I made. So the big thing I've done is I've implemented doors and airlocks. Let's go ahead and open this door here. And go into this airlock. And it should pop us into first person view because it's too small of a location to uh, to really keep track of what's going on uh, from a third person view. So let's click on this door and it'll say that the door is closing. And that's the door behind us and then it opens up here. So this thing here is pumping air into us. Because we didn't have any air in the uh, in the airlock to begin with, but now we do. So if we click here to change out this door, then we'll close the door behind us, and then we'll actually pump all of this atmosphere into storage, and we won't lose any as we make the transition. So we didn't lose any air when we left. And similarly, when we open it up here, it'll close the door behind us, and then it'll pump air in, and we won't actually use up any of the air from the life support room, um, because we stored it all locally, and you can tell because there's no no wind sound now. Alright, so let's go back out into here. I should add a sound effect for when it's pumping. So the first person view thing is uh, not recommended when you're not in a confined space. So this sound means that you're currently sticking to a surface, which is a handy way to move around quickly. But right now it tends to bug out when you hit the corners, so I won't show you that. You can still order uh, order things and uh, uh, order oxygen, for example, and then carry it around, but I already showed you that, so I'm not going to show it to you again. And that'll be it for today. Zoom!